When you do a backup with Retrospect, the very first time you do a backup, it will copy all of the files from the disk, and then every backup after that will copy the files that are new or changed since the previous backup. If you use what's called a normal backup, then Retrospect will back up the entire file every time that a file changes. So as an example, if you have a PST file that's two gigabytes in size, every time that two gigabyte file gets modified, Retrospect would copy the entire two gigabyte file and add it to your backup media. Retrospect has an option called block level incremental backup. If you turn this option on, then when Retrospect does a backup of that file, it's only going to back up the changed blocks. So we can go to sources as an example. We'll choose our C drive. And then as our destination, we would pick our, our backup set. And then when we go to do the backup, because this is a normal backup, the very first time it's going to copy all the files. The second time when we turn on block level incremental backup, it's going to only copy the files that are new or changed since the previous backup. And if the file by default is over 100 megabytes, then it will only back up the changes to that file rather than the entire file to save you space on your backup media. So we can look at an example of a prior backup. So if we go to the activity monitor and we go to our history, we can look at a backup that we previously ran. And it shows that we copied four files for 3.3 gigabytes with 32% compression. The second time I did a backup of those exact same files, Retrospect only needed a backup 43 megabytes because only 43 megabytes of blocks changed within the file. The entire file didn't change, so Retrospect was able to do a partial file backup. Now we have some options available to you to help you determine the best way to configure your block level incremental backup. So if we go to configure and we go to selectors, there's a block level filter. And you'll see that in this filter, Retrospect will look for files that are over 100 megabytes. This means that if a modified file is over 100 megabytes, then the block level incremental backup option will be turned on and only the changed blocks for that file will be copied. You can modify this if you feel that you want to change this to, let's say, look for files over 200 megabytes so that we only do block level incremental backup on files over 200 megabytes or whatever value you specify. We've also added a list of excluded files because when these file types change, the entire file changes, which reduces the usefulness of a block level incremental backup. Retrospect will do a traditional backup of those particular file types and copy the entire file each time it gets modified. Even with block level incremental backup, Retrospect is still going to perform an incremental backup on all of the files that are new or changed. So if a file does change, Retrospect will either back up the entire file or it's going to back up the changed blocks depending on the actual size of the file. So if the file is over 100 megabytes, then it will do block level incremental backup. If the file is under 100 megabytes, then it's going to use the traditional incremental backup where only those changed files will be backed up, but it will be the entire file. If you have a file that's under 100 megabytes, then Retrospect will only back up the new or changed files but it will back up the entire file that's under 100 megabytes because block level incremental backup loses a lot of its value when you're dealing with very small files. Now this, is, this filter that you find under configure selectors is a special type of selector. Do not use this as the selector option within your backup script. You just need to leave it in this window and you don't need to select it at any other point within your backup operations. If you want to see the block level incremental backup options for scheduled backups, you go to automate, you go to manage scripts, you can edit your script, and when you go to options, 
you'll see the block level incremental backup option, and you can turn this on or off. If you enable the block level incremental backup option inside Retrospect, those particular backup sets are only going to be usable inside Retrospect 9 or later. If you have a need to use these particular backup sets in older versions of Retrospect, then you do not want to enable the block level incremental backup feature, since that would make these newer backup sets incompatible with the older versions of Retrospect. So you would uncheck the block level incremental backup feature.